Hey everyone, live fan point Doppler looks good for most of us inland. However, Gulf Shores, Gulf Highlands, Dolphin Island, and even Southern Mobile County, we have a few showers that we're watching that's creeping towards the north and west, and it could bring you some wet weather over the next hour or so. We're expecting it to be relatively light in nature, though. Right now, it's dry in Mobile at 73 degrees, and it's currently 74 for those of you in Pensacola under a relatively clear sky. 67 in Evergreen, not a bad start for you. 69 in Crestview, and we're looking at 75 for those of you in Pascagoula. So the school day forecast will keep it on average into the mid-70s, for the most part, decent sunshine, but again, at the coastline, you may want to give your kids that umbrella heading off to the bus stop. Again, Dauphin Island, we have a few showers we're watching heading your way. And then this afternoon, we'll keep a slight chance for a shower in there with those temperatures staying into the upper 80s, which is average for this time of year. Pinpoint predictor showing a relatively quiet start. As we head into the afternoon, we will have a chance for a hit or a miss shower. We still have an upper level ridge of high pressure that has a dominant control over our area, so the rain chances remaining slim, but as we head into our Friday, the pattern is going to change a bit. In the morning, it should be quiet, but by the afternoon, that upper level ridge is going to move away. We're going to start to get a surge of moisture coming in from the Gulf out ahead of an approaching cold front that's going to bring us a chance of rain, unfortunately, for a weekend. So again, today, not looking too bad, but as we head towards Saturday, it's going to be somewhat of a soggy setup. We're expecting rain to be likely. So if you had any outdoor plans, just plan on having the poncho or the rain gear because we're going to have to deal with with some wet weather anywhere from one to two inches possible, maybe even locally more than that. And then by Sunday, the weather will begin to improve. As far as the tropics, we're watching 95L. It's churning here in the Bay of Campeche. Hurricane Hunters will inve investigate this today. It could become a tropical depression over the next day or so. And the forecast models are looping it across parts of the southern Gulf over the next couple of days as they really won't have strong steering currents to move it until that cold front moves in on the weekend that's affiliated with an upper level trough and that's going to possibly absorb whatever that becomes. So we're really not expecting it to uh, impact the Gulf Coast in terms of a named system, but again, we could have more moisture affiliated with that. So we'll keep you posted. 88 for a high today in Daphne, 88 for Citronelle. We'll keep it at a 20% chance of rain between Mobile and Baldwin counties, primarily south of I-10. North of I-10, we're going to keep it dry for you. We're going to go with 88 for Thomasville, same temperature for Chatham, 87 for Atmore with partly cloudy skies into the Florida Panhandle. More of the same with relatively dry weather. We're going to go with 89 for Crestview, 88 for Pensacola, but in Mississippi, we're going to have a chance, slightly greater chance for a few showers to head your way. So we're going to go with 89 for Lakesville, 88 for Marvella, 87 for Moss Point. And again, that chance of rain for you will be about 20%, so not too bad at all. So here's your forecast. <laughs> I have 88 degrees for today in the city, 88 for tomorrow with a better chance of rain. As we head into our Saturday, rain is likely, and we're looking at the potential for, again, maybe up to two inches in some spots. So just plan on a soggy start to the weekend and improved into the weekend by Sunday. And then as we head on into next week, we're looking dry.